So a confirmation. We have our first combination to play their way into the final of these World Championships. Tian and Zhao with that win, as I say, will meet either Wang Wu or Kakiwa Maeda. And uh, this is what's still to come. Uh, and you might wonder what's happening with that graphic in the mid middle match there. It's because uh, there has been a walkover. We understand a neck injury for Kim Sa-Rung. So uh, Kim and uh, Kim have conceded a walkover to Ko and Shin. So that means Ko and Shin are also in the final tomorrow. They will potentially meet either their compatriots, me and you, or maybe a Danish pair in Boa Mogensen. But uh, there will be no match number three. So after Li Shue and Minatsu Mitani, We'll have uh, the other women's double semi-final, Uun Wang up against Kiwa Maeda, followed by that men's single semi-final of Li Chong Wei and Victor Axelson. So uh, let's concentrate on the uh, women's single semi-final here. You can see Li Shuwei coming through against Sina Newell yesterday, Mitani in a thriller against Sung Ji Hyun, and uh, Carolina Marin, PV Sindhu. Spain and India will have their first women's singles finalist. Don't know which country yet, one or the other. But great to see uh, new nations, if you like, in uh, the women's single final. Two young guns as well. Atmosphere building up very nicely now, isn't it, in the uh, Bellarup Super Arena. Many of the fans uh, will be unaware that uh, that men's doubles match is... Uh, Jim, obviously, we want to concentrate on this women's singles clash, but quickly, just a comment on uh, on that. Of course, it's sad. It's two, you know, pairs which I thought would have had a great match. Um, you know, it's just sad. Sad that the things like that, but that's both. You know, it happens. Yeah, neck injury. Just like Jan, Jan, Jan Jürgensen had to pull out. Uh, but here come the uh, women's single semi-finalists. And uh, we've just seen the Olympic champions win in the women's doubles. Well, how about we see the Olympic champion in the women's singles, Lee Shuei, first out on court. And, well, there's no doubt you have to say the minnow. Here is uh, Minatsu Mitani, but she's used to being the underdog this week. She's beaten the world champion, Ratchanok Intanon. And uh, yesterday against Sung Ji Hyun, after losing the first set, had an even longer match against uh, the Korean. And well. Yeah, and you can't help wondering if this is this a step too much. <laughs> well, and Lee Shu is looking pretty good, isn't she? Yeah, she didn't really. She hasn't really been pushed to anything yet. And what can I say? could already see here on Mitani that she has a lot of tape on her legs and doesn't necessarily need to, to be injuries or anything, but I know from experience, having played that long matches all the time, it's just very, very hard. Well, she uh, may be feeling it in the legs, maybe if we went to another third game, but she'll be boosted confidence-wise, you know, she must be in a a real high because it hadn't been a great 2014 for her. Quarterfinals was uh, as far as she got in uh, any of this year's tournament. So to be in the semi-final and to become the first Japanese women's singles player to win a medal in the World Championships in 37 years must give her a really lovely feeling. Have to go back to 1977. Hiroya Yuki won the bronze. So she's uh, made a bit of history this week. This girl, well, she's only young, but she's made a lot of history herself. Lee Shuei, 23 years of age. Already you can consider her a legend, world number one Olympic champion. But if there is an incentive for her, and you can see, look at that win loss ratio for this year. It's, uh, <laughs> it's what happened last year. She made the final, she lost it. Look at that. Sina Newell uh, tried her best yesterday. She was just too good for her. Yeah. And I just. Have, I know I might be pessimistic in a little way here, but I just can't see Mitani 
you know. No, fair enough. I mean, I don't think I don't. I think if we went around the crowd here and we asked, I don't know how many in there here, three thousand. I, I doubt you'll find more than about three or four that <laughs> would maybe yeah. pick Mitsani to win this one. As you can see, seeded 16, ranked 15. I said, you know, look at the win-loss ratio coming into this week. Ten wins, ten defeats. Mm. It's nothing that's picked her out as a, a bronze medalist at this year's World Championships. But yet here she is in the semi-final. Look at those wins. An hour and five minutes, an hour <laughs> on court against Ratchinov. Yeah. Beating Lena Kiersfeld as well. And, the, and there's two other things that we she didn't expect to be here you know will she be satisfied with just being here now and getting the medal or will she have a you know in her head changed her mind say oh, i'm going for gold now and i haven't told you the head-to-head -head record yet no Lynn, wait, wait with that one <laughs> lynn mond our umpire there um Six. yeah five times they've met yeah. three of them 2004 uh guess who's won all five of them yeah. <laughs> lee shuway uh yeah. and another thing is we saw that there you go. First look, at, look at the second set oh. there at the Uber Cup as well. 21-5. Yeah. Let's hope it's closer than that. Let's hope we've got a, a bit of tension, bit of drama. Women's single semi-final is underway here in Bellarup Super Arena, just outside of Copenhagen. Mitani against Li Shue. What I was going to say there is we saw Ratsanok uh, Itzenon in the first set where we thought, well, this is going to be... A walk over almost for her. She had the tempo there, and Mitan just couldn't couldn't cope with it. Then something happened. Uh, Ratchanok simply just started slowing a little bit, a little bit slower, and then Mitani was fine and came back and won it. I don't think we'll see Lee Shiray slow down today, and we already see in the two first rallies, Mitani really haven't troubles coping with that pace. Yeah, oh, she does look, you know, stars, you can see, yeah, it? but you can oh, see, dear. <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> I mean, Matani's come out here, she's thinking, come on, I can do it. I can. And then bang, 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 three love down. But look, she, oh, and you look at it, that, that strap and tape she has on that leg. You can't help wondering. But don't you, know, you remember, we saw Matani, she had her hands in her head against Ratchanok, it was looking I doom know. and gloom. That was two rounds ago there you are. I, I agree with you and I, I I I really I'm not against Mitani I think she's fantastic because she's she's the type I really like she never gives up and she fights and uh, but I'm just saying this is the Olympic champion um, and the way Lee Shere has performed here in the Dubai World Championship I think it's going to be very very difficult yeah and let's not forget Lee Shere not only has she uh, been superb this week she uh, if you count the Uber Cup, the fact that she won the previous two tournaments, this, if she wins, will be her 20th match win in a row. That's a good run. And the way Mitani plays as well is very much a running game. And oh, if we just could count how many steps with that leg she's taken up to the net doing this in this tournament, it's no reason why. There's a reason why she has that tape on. So. We'll have to see. But pretty much we've seen from the start here that's going to be difficult for him. Yeah, and, and when, you, when you know, I mean, she'll be aware of how well Lee Shuei's played as well. She obviously will be very aware of, you know, and then you met last in May. You know, three of the defeats that she's had against Lee have come in this calendar year. You know, I've got to go out there and I've got to play perfect. And that, that adds the pressure on your game. She somehow has to go out there and just play her own game, doesn't she? But, yeah. but if she plays to her strengths and Lee plays to her strengths, we know who's going to win, don't we? Definitely. She's going to have, she's going to have to, you know, she's going to find a really tough time finding a way to win her points. And then it becomes uncomfortable, doesn't it? You become a little self-aware. Yeah, you can see there, it's all really painful.
And it's interesting watching this match at the moment. It'll be a, a very different feel, won't it, later tonight when Carolina Marin takes on PV Sindhu. You feel like that one could go anyway, couldn't you? Well, my experience with Sindhu is he'll go through games. <laughs> <laughs> she'll be behind, she'll come back, and then she'll lose a game, she'll be behind again, then she'll gonna come back and win the game. She and might have the a end, couple of match points against in, her. In the and Marine's end, also that kind of player yeah, as well, in, isn't she? In the end, she will look tired. Marine was a set down yesterday, and she came through as well. It was, you know, the pair of them between them. It could be a two-hour fun fest, couldn't it, yeah. really? Whereas this one you feel could be over in half an hour. And if it is that long as well, that'll be music to the ears of Lee Shue, should she make the final. Yeah, you can see if you look at, let's assume that this will continue like we're seeing here, you know, Lee Shue is just basically had a, had warm up games all the way to the final. That's how well she's played, so she will be as, as ready as you can be for a final match. It's been a, a really classy display so far from Lee Shuei. It's easy to just sit here and wax lyrical about her. She's the one that's having to go out there and produce the goods, make sure Mitani doesn't get any confidence. She's uh, snuffed her out pretty well. That's a rare miss. Bit of light for uh, Mitani. of all this your way in command you have to say with a commanding performance 11 points to five four I should say Mitani well, she's got a work cut out here to just even make a game of it never mind win Look at that drop shot setting up the winner Mitani just doing well to get to it and down the line and Mitani netting Start from Matania after the interval. You know, you get to these stages of uh, the World Championships and, and you want to see close, tight encounters, don't you, really? But uh, 
So you also at the stage where fatigue will come in and injuries can come in and yeah. so and we have to remember that in a draw there can be walkovers and everything. Some, somebody's probably had, you know, Sindhu had it. What was it one hour and 26 minutes yesterday or somewhere? Well, that's a long match and come in and play today. So you can have these sometimes one, this one-sided matches because we are at that stage of the tournament. And obviously you can see Mitan is feeling it here. Yeah, I gotta say though, if we, one hour 26 minutes, Sindhu was on court yesterday. One hour 15 minutes, Marin was on court yeah. as well. So that's more. So they're even, they're both going to be shattered. Here, here we have a girl who's basically been out having a. Well, she's not dropped again. No, and, and, and again. she haven't, I can say, broken sweat at all, you know. I'm not taking anything away to Sina yesterday, but she did really well, but it hasn't been out there where she was really fault and under pressure at all. No. She, I mean, Sina tried her best, but yeah. she just uh, came up with uh, every answer, really, so, didn't she? So she, she hasn't, she's ready. And you know, that's also talent. That's that's also a class player that can go and you know not use too much time on on matches. The matches they shouldn't use too much time on. Been a good day, hasn't it, so far for the Chinese fans seeing uh, the women's, women's doubles first finalist of uh, Tian Zhao. And now Number looking four. like the uh, first women's singles finalist, seven, even seven. in this uh, opening game stage, will be Nishu Wei. So that's hurt more than anything, <laughs> I think, from Mitani there. Just no, it's hoping it's going to drop out. on the line. Yeah, no, you look at that. <laughs> Can't even challenge it. She had no. a too good a look at it. Yeah. Oh, God. I, I really think Mitani wants to, she almost wants to die for these shots. She wants to really, really, she just can't, you know, she can't find that energy. She can't find that. Oh, and that's just wide as well. If it doesn't rain, it pours. 13 game points for Li Shui. Pointer, another minor victory, isn't it, for Matani?
Well, in semi-finals of World Championships, it, it really doesn't come much easier or better than that, really. Lee Shulway completely in control here. Our opponent is baffled, bamboozled, and uh, well down, you have to say, just over 13 minutes, 14 minutes actually on the clock now. Lee Shulway takes the opening game here, 21 points to eight. If you're uh, coaching Natani now, what, what can you say, Jim? Well, it depends. She has to be really, really honest about how she's feeling. She has to be really, really honest about, you know, her energy level and, and how, you know, are you sore, are you injured or whatever. Um, I don't think she will have the game to, to, to run the charade down. <laughs> that would be pretty unrealistic, so. Go for it. I've said it before this week. We've seen it. We've seen Sindhu come back in that time. Mutani did a little bit against Ratana. Go for it. Take the net. Attack. Uh, I think if if she just goes out and rallies here, we'll see. It'll be a copycat of, of the first game. So, but she has to tell me how she's feeling because I can't really help her if she's not telling me what kind of energy she has left. 20 seconds. If I, can, if I could help, seconds. I don't know if I could. But <laughs> well, this uh, lady's won three times in 2014. Uber Cup, she won all six matches. Indonesian Japan Opens came her way just prior to these championships starting. She was the player of 2012. Three times she won again in 2013. She has been over the last three years, you have to say, the best women's singles player in the world. And uh, she may be about to prove it again this week. And, and for Matani, I suppose, listen, whatever happens here, she'll be able to look back with great satisfaction. She's put herself in the history books, you know, almost 40 years since the last time a Japanese women's singles player won a medal in World Championship. She's done it here this week in Copenhagen. One, four. That was a good shot. See, that's going for it. Yep. You know? Yeah. Good start here by Mutano. And again, we haven't has seen we haven't really seen a rally and it tells me a little bit she's trying to go for it. That's perfect. And to go for it, I when I mean to go for it, I don't mean of course you should go for it. Everybody goes for it when they go on golf, but but then a little you know, take the chances, attack, go for that little Slim chance there is now for make a smash or like that. And well, that's okay. That's okay. She has to try and do that. If she goes just go head to head with Lisa Ray in the way she did in the first game, then you see the same result. Good fight by Mutani there, but again, Lisa Ray just too good. 
What a player. back into the league. Some fight here from Matani. 7 5, she leads. Listen, this is a young lady in Minatsu Matani that's, she's done it this week, she's done it before. She was uh, looking down and out against Ratchanok Intanon, who, let's not forget, won this title last year, and she pulled it off. I mean, it would seem impossible, it would seem improbable and unlikely, but These things have happened. She lost the first game against uh, Rajanok Intanon. 21 8. Guess what? She lost the first game here, 21 8. She lost the first game against Sung Ji Hyun, 21 9. And we all know what happened then. Now, Lightning doesn't normally strike three times. But she's playing with a greater freedom and confidence now. And she's already got more points in this game than she did in the previous one.
Well, Machani then has the interval lead. And, uh, well, <laughs> who saw this coming? Oh, only she did, I think. But again, look there, she goes for it. And then, you know, maybe she should have, she should have brought that approach from the start. Well, can she maintain this? Can 11, she bring us some more drama this week from the Japanese player? Who thought she was playing for pride coming out in the second game? She had other ideas. Oh, well, statement there from Li Shuwei right at the start of the, uh, for the interval. Great shot. It is incredible that oh, she puts it wide there, Matani, but she did lose those opening games to opponents in the previous two matches so comfortably like she did here against Lee and that she's able to bounce back so well I mean obviously she's got some mental toughness there and oh, although definitely. some might question why she started so slowly yeah Alice she's, she needs a new warm-up uh, routine or, or is she's just really good at adapting to her opponent saying okay now I've, see, I've seen what you can now but I have, this will also go more or less I think she did change a few things the time yes, he did try to create more attacking play but they also came down to this array feeling maybe a little bit too complacent so yeah four points in a row now for late we'll probably see a different that's perfect fantastic wow she's really hitting the lines in the, uh, the old groove again, aren't we? The uh, hope was brief. It uh, flickered nearly for minutes. Gave it a, a best shot, didn't she? And then Ansu Matanu hit. Matanu now looks beaten again. Oh, 
my goodness. <laughs> we almost got it there. Well. Two more points. Respect for Mitani, I think she's really putting up a good fight. Here. Yeah. But she's only won 20 points in the match. The reality is, uh, I think this is where her fairy toe ends. I mean, this is the land of Hans Christian Andersen, but. Yeah, uh, he's kind of come up with a great story. If <laughs> <laughs> Another great story. He has a few. Away, a real opportunity tomorrow, whoever she's facing, of uh, beating those demons that you know, she must have felt. Netted there, though. One more point goes the other way that she must have felt in that loss on, on home soil in Guangzhou against Rachanok Intanon. Big surprise in last year's final. She has match points to make it through to Sunday's big game. Natani fought here in this second game. Even led, but Lisha Way has been racing to the line. A complete performance from the Olympic champion. A stunner to conclude it as well. Lee Shawway has disposed of yet another opponent in rapid quick time. 32 minutes on court for this victory over Minasu Matani. 21-8, 21-14. And whoever gets to the final, whether it be PV Sindhu or Carolina Marin to face her in that uh, battle for the gold medal, they are going to have their work cut out. Confirmation then, Lee Shuway through the number one seed, 21-8, 21-14. being made right now. So the semi-final in many struggles will be won and walk over by Kung Sung Yu and Shin The uh, next match that we were due to have the men's double is off because of injury for Kim Sarang. The crowd just hearing that. So we're going to go straight into the women's doubles match. Confirmation firstly, Shu is in the final where she will face Marin or Sindhu. Jim Nogerson's just taking a little breather. Delighted to say uh, joined by uh, one of Denmark's best now at Put up the racket to uh, retire now, enjoy his retirement. Peter Gader's with us. Peter, it's great to have the World Championships here in Denmark. I bet you wish you were out there playing this week. Um, actually, I feel quite good being on the sidelines. Okay. Um, of, of course, the, you know, I feel the emotion and the tension uh, from the players and from, from the stadium. Um, but I have done whatever I should on court. 
now I'm off court and uh, I'm really enjoying just watching the games and uh, following the games on now the sidelines. Now obviously we've got the women's doubles next, but I assume you've been keeping keen interest in what's been going on in the, the men's singles. The one after our match with uh, Wanganu up against Kiwa and Maeda is the match between Victor Axelson and Lee Chong Wei. You played Lee Chong Wei obviously so many times over the years and you, you must know Victor pretty well as, as well. What has Victor got to do to make a, a real game of it? Of course, uh, there's no doubt uh, Victor is 20 years old. Um, Lee Chong Wei, he's at the top of his game. Uh, he, Lee Chong Wei is, is going for this title. Uh, but as it, you know, as Victor only at, at 20 years of age, uh, going to the semi-final of the Worlds at home, this is just a free shot at, uh, uh, at Chong Wei. Uh, Chong Wei is a big favorite in this game. Uh, I think that he needs to be nervous, have a bad day before uh, Victor has a chance. Victor, he can play totally, you know, without any, just everything to win, nothing to lose. So he will give his best and uh, hopefully they can make a great game for the spectators. Um, but I think it's going to be very difficult for, uh, for Victor. Chong Wei looks to be at the right state of mind uh, and ready for, for going for this title. Well, the officials just making their way out now for this uh, women's doubles match. Let's uh, just see what we've got next. As you can see, a, a walkover then in that third match means it's a uh, women's doubles. Then that match we've just been talking about, Lee Chong Wei and Victor Axelson. So here come the players. Wu Yang Wang Xiali hoping to make it an all Chinese women's doubles final. And here come their Japanese opponents, Raika Kakiwa and Miyuki Maeda. It's going to be tough for them. Young Wang Siali, obviously uh, one of the best women's doubles partnerships there's been. It, it's great, isn't it, having the uh, Bellarup Super Arena like this? What, what are you up to, Peter, at the moment? Obviously, you're watching some badminton this week, but elsewhere. I'm still keeping in touch with badminton. Um, I'm coaching in a youth talent project uh, in here in Copenhagen, where Badminton Denmark and a local community is supporting a project uh, where I'm coaching 16 of the best players we have uh, between 13 and uh, 17 years of age. And uh, I'm still actually practicing quite a bit, uh, not playing any official matches, but uh, just to feel normal, I have to practice. I suppose it's been in your system for so yeah, long, it's hard to lose it. I cannot let go of it, so it's a huge part of me, so I, I, need, to, I need to practice uh, almost every day. Um, and aside from that, um, I have a lot of uh, things going on with uh, Asia, uh, with China uh, and other Asian countries as a kind of a brand ambassador for Danish companies that want to move into these countries. I have been able to create a, a good name for myself uh, during the years in, in these countries and hopefully I can be kind of a door opener and ambassador for these companies uh, and also create kind of a, a new future for me and make a transition towards other things uh, beside badminton. Yeah, sounds terrific. Well, obviously we've got a couple of partnerships here, one from China and one from Japan. Uh, Wang Xiali, Wu Yang, obviously, I, I take it you feel like most people here will, will be the favourites for this one? For this one, uh, I'm pretty sure the Chinese, uh, they are the favourites and uh, even though the Japan, Japanese pair is quite good, uh, maybe they'll put up a fight, but the Chinese, uh, I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to take it. So Denmark's in a, in a healthy state, you say you've got these youngsters coming through as we look at uh, the record this year for Wang Xiali, Yu Yang, uh, maybe another Peter Gator coming through? Well, obviously, we have uh, Victor uh, in the semi-final, sure. uh, only 20 years of age. But underneath that? Underneath that, uh, we will have a, I think we have a couple of guys coming. Uh, but we need to put in a huge effort uh, in order to keep up with the, with the Asians. I'm trying my best. Uh, I, th I think at the moment, uh, ladies' singles, uh, we're actually better you know, than in the men's singles. But uh, uh, there is guys coming up. We need, we need to work even harder. We need to make a, a bigger pool of, of young guys coming forward. Not only once every five years, uh, but one every year or two every year. So I'm trying my best to, to put in some effort and uh, trying to influence also the Danish uh, way that we do things. Uh, we'll see what happens. It's, it's not an easy challenge. Well, we were seeing there, Uyang Wang Sierli uh, coming through this week in uh, straight games in, in all of their matches. The uh, number seven seeds here certainly got their work cut out uh, and they had to come from a set down to beat the number 13 seeds. Uh, Ku and Yu, Ku and Yu in uh, the 
last 16. 45 minutes to beat their compatriots, though, yesterday. Peter, it's been uh, great to have a chat with you. I know you're going to be uh, especially interested in the match, the one after this one, but we're going to concentrate on this. It's been great.